So, um, yeah, I think we might need to do a little bit of decorating at this uh, nether portal, because as you can see, this isn't acceptable. I need something that I can show off to people. I also, um, a new member joined very recently, um, over oh. here in the medieval district with us. Um, and I think later on in the episode, um, they only joined like very, very, very recently. Later on in the episode, uh, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a care package. I've already given them some tools and stuff, but I think we need a, give them something to work with in their base. So, I realize that I haven't been uploading at all for a month and ten days, I think. This is the time I'm editing this video. And I realize that's bad now, but the other thing is, I have basically done weeks worth of work into this one episode, and I thought I could finish it by the end of October, but no, I couldn't. Um, I have to finish this probably at the end of season two of Minhabitcraft, like before that starts, which I'll talk about at the end of this video, or later on in the video. You can notice that I am wearing my Halloween skin here while I'm looking at uh, the new member's base uh, starting off, so we'll get them some stuff. So, you might be wondering, why am I building this weird looking structure? That's because if you see the photo that is on the screen now, it is actually a mini game. So what I'm calling this, I'm calling this probably like Grave Robbers or something like that. I haven't come up with a name yet. Um, it'll probably be in the video title what the name is, but this is a uh, mini game where it's a 6v6 mini game, but you can't expand it. It's just like anything to like any amount of players or whatever but you can see how there's like in the middle there is this mansion and on either side there's kind of like a thing but you'll see we'll talk about that later so in the mansion we've got like puzzles traps like false floorings like with roses key card doors like ghost fire loot false floors pigmen traps changing paths ma mazes puzzles parkour riddles that kind of thing. And then on the roof, there's also other puzzles and riddles and stuff. And then on the other sides, we've got like a Ravager with treasure, with like, like a don't beware of dog kind of thing. I think that's kind of funny. And on the other side, we've got a pool full of pufferfish, uh, where you can also get loot to start. So what happens is it's like a 6v6 capture the flag. Before the game starts, each team has 10 minutes where they can trap their grave 
with a maximum of a stack of materials total, um, where they're not allowed to use TNT or anything that will damage the environment, um, so that they can they can trap each of their graves, because the girl of the other team, grab all of the um, treasures from each person on the graves, uh, so each person's graves of the other team, um, and that will um, cause like that that will win you the game. Um, where you type in chat that you have all of the things, right? So after the, you've set up your grave traps, the game will start, and there'll be a PvP area. Um, so the, every, then PvP will be happening. You start off with no materials, um, and you have to get treasure from inside of the Hamilton Mansion. Um, and you can get treasure from inside of it. There's like stuff on the roof. There's stuff in the pool. There's like these staircases onto the roof. There's like the uh, you can get loot from the um, like the Ravager pit. And the other thing is. Um, each side, so one side can access the pool, and one side can access the Ravager, so they both have kind of like a skull to start with. So I can go to that place, get loot to, um, do with their stuff in, like, get their stuff so they can fight the other team. Um, there's limited resources in this dungeon. Uh, not dungeon, sorry, Haunted Mansion. Um, and there'll be like, all, like the PvP area in the middle, so it, you need to remember how to get through the maze to get the other side, because... Um, I will be the only person who knows how the maze works. I still will participate, but I'll probably forget a lot of the things until I remember how to do them. Um, but there'll be a PvP area in the middle, um, and then you will fight it out, and then you have to grab all of the stuff from each person's grave on the other team, and that is how you win the game. So, yeah, it's a very interesting concept I've come up with, and that's why it's, it was due to be done on October the 31st. Uh, that's not gonna happen. It is currently on the day of editing this. This is to 23rd of November. Um, and uh, I've been working on this with uh, Quiz for a long time. Uh, <laughs> and that's why I haven't had the video out for so long. One, I've had some difficulties with my computer. Two, um, I've been going down Minecraft. Three, I've been working on this minigame this whole time. And it's been <laughs> very taxing. And yeah, so the other thing is, what I said before that we'll be talking about in Habitcraft Season 2. So with the second season, we'll be doing Amplified Terrain. Uh, each base has to be within 100 blocks of another base. We'll have a lot more focus on co collaboration and uh, content, uh, so that a lot of the members uh, will be making videos on this now. Um, a lot of the members will be leaving if they're not as active. A lot of the members will have some, a lot of new members as well. Uh, it's kind of just like a revamp version. So yeah, Amplified Terrain. You have to be within 100, meter, uh, 100 blocks of another base. We're still talking about seed, so that will be... Uh, so we're just working everything out. We're still talking about seed and stuff. But we're scheduled to reset the world in January, where a public download of the world will be available through my channel. Um, that you can download in the description of my channel. It's like a Google Drive link or whatever. We'll have the final world available. And we'll be resetting to Amplified Terrain in January of uh, next year, 2021. And that's when we'll start. That in we'll still be in 1.16, obviously. 1.17 we'll also uh, probably reset for, because we're thinking half a year per season, so it doesn't get stale. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of future plans for this channel, the future plans for... The Inhabitcraft world, the future plans for this season of Inhabitcraft. I probably won't finish my base. I had a lot of plans for that base, but I'll probably uh, reintroduce them in the next season uh, because I just don't think I'll have the time or motivation. I'm like the only active member right now. So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been thinking for the future and thinking for this playthrough. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the time lapse.